Hi, this is Sean from NopAdmin at www.nopadmin.com. This video is the last in our series of three using NopAdmin to import product data into your NopCommerce store. In the first video, we used Excel and NopAdmin to upload um, from scratch one new test product into our NopCommerce store that we have running locally. And uh, we basically went over every nuance, every detail about how to set up your Excel worksheet in order to upload a test product with um, three images. We assigned two categories to that product as well as a manufacturer and put in all the, the pertinent product data. In the second video we created some new attributes for that particular product. We created the cover attribute as well as a size attribute and assigned values and uploaded those. And now I want to review how to use NopAdmin and Excel to upload and assign product specifications to our test product. So um, we'll be working in Excel mostly and I uh, want to show you how to configure Excel so you get optimum results the first time, hopefully. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll be working in um, in Excel as I said and we're going to open up our our example worksheet that we started with in video one. Okay. We have in this in this workbook this basically is a uh, it was created from the sample the sample template that um, NopAdmin generates. You can generate this file by clicking go to NopAdmin and load and you want to go right here view Excel template this will generate a sample um, template file for you and that's basically what we're working with here so today we're going to be working with three tabs the specifications specification details and this product to specification map Okay, let's start with the first one. It's important you do these in order because they all build on each other. So let's work with the specifications. You'll see some sample data in here left over from uh, the template. None of this applies to us, so I'm going to remove it. And as I said in the first video, I always get in the habit of not doing a delete, but doing a clear contents. And all this is basically saying, um, what specifications do you have in for all the products in your store? That's all it's saying. We're not assigning values to them. We're not assigning them to products. It's just saying what are the specifications that you might have, you know, in your store. So uh, the process this. We're going to say true. That will tell NOP admin to process this row. And let's say for our test product, we have oh. Let's say we have a finish type, or just a finish, and we'll assign that number one. We might also have, let's see, it has a cover. A cover usually has a zipper, so let's just say um, a zipper, and oops. I did it again. I, you can either select it here or you can hand type it in as long as you entered an apostrophe before the value, which is what I forgot. And I forgot that in video two as well, so you think I would know by now, but I don't. So anyway, um, let's see, we have a finish, we have a zipper, we, let's say we have a size specification. And we'll assign that display order three. Okay. That's all there is for this worksheet. Pretty simple. Now let's go to specification details. Clear out our sample data. And we're going to clear contents. Okay. Specification. All this is basically you're just selecting the specification that you entered on the previous one. And the name, this is this 
this column is a little bit misleading. It's not really a name. It should be titled value. Um, but anyway, it is the possibility or the actual specification value, right, that you have for that particular specification. So let's say we have an antique brass finish. And for the zipper, let's say we have a stainless steel. And I'll just assign that a one as well. Oops. And for the size, let's just say 15.6 inches. All right, now, just as in video two with the attributes are some hidden fields, and these hidden fields are very, very important to the, the upload process that Knop Admin goes through. In order to see what's going on with these, we need to unhide them. You can see that the spreadsheet jumps from D to H. It basically tells us there's some hidden fields in there, so let's swipe across them, right click, and go unhide so we can see what's going on. Okay, we see some formulas down here, right? They aren't present up here. We see a hidden specification name um, and a hidden specification detail. In order to bring these values, to populate these things, we need to copy the values from the previous rows. So just copy like that one. And I would just paste, paste them all in. Okay, excellent. Now when we did that, you can see that these cells um, got populated automatically based on what we entered here. The specification name is kind of a combination of these two fields and then we have the spec name which is just the finish and the hidden spec detail which is the value which comes from our name field right in the same row. So that all looks good. These, these three are populated. Excellent. Let's continue product to specification map we're working with. This is the last one and this basically is where we tie that specification to a particular product. So again, just like we always do, get in the habit of removing the sample data, clear contents, we don't do a delete. And I'm going to narrow this just a little bit so we can see what's going on. Okay, process this, I'm going to say true, product name, there's our product. The specification we're going to select is our finish. Do we want to allow filtering? And that basically is um, can we tell, do we want not commerce to allow filtering based on this specification? Um, I'm just going to say no. And then there's another question show on product page. Absolutely we want it to show and we'll assign a display order so we'll just keep going through here and all we're doing again is just assigning the specifications that we created here under spec details to our specification map you know what let's go ahead and add another one Let's add another size in there. And let's say we have an 18 inch. Okay, now as you saw, because we already had the formulas in there, as soon as we typed it, it adjusted the formulas, right? So that's, that's good. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste. That way I don't have to retype the true and the product name and all that. And here I'm going to select our size. And because I don't like to type, I'm going to copy this. And let's say our product also comes in the 18 inch. Okay, so there we have our four specifications 
map to our Sean test one product, all right? That's all pretty cut and dried. So it looks like we're done, but we're not. As I said in video two and like this, worksheet has some hidden fields. So does this one. And again, NopAdmin uses those hidden fields, so we need to look at them and make sure they're populated. It jumps from F to J, so we know there's hidden fields in there. Let's click and go unhide. Okay. And now we need to just copy our rows up like we did in the other one. So copy. Paste. And there we go. Okay, so you can kind of see what's going on here if you look at this. We see that we have, it's going to map our specification name um, to, which is basically, um, you know, which class is it, the, the, a group of specifications. So we have finish, zipper, and the size, and then the details or the values for each one, and it's going to map those to our SKU. As I said in the first video, you have to have a SKU. Absolutely, there's no other way around it in Op Admin, and you can see why, because in Op Admin, the SKU is used all over the place. Okay, it is the key to the product. So that's why we use the SKU, that's why you have to put it in. Okay, so this looks really good. Um, we have all our, our values being populated here. This is, this is good. Now, as I said in video two, you'll have some people who are loading thousands of rows and they're gonna do a copy paste, right? They're not gonna sit here and go click and that and that. You know, that would take days and days and days. Um, instead, they're gonna copy and paste. So, you know, basically, um, if you copy and paste, you're just gonna unhide and you know paste your SKUs in here and then all your specs you know the spec values here and the specification type in this column so um, and that's the reason basically I'm showing you the hidden fields in here for those power users and for the people who you know just they want to be able to kind of figure out what's going on behind the scenes well, this is how you do it so Okay, we're done working in Excel. We have our three worksheets populated. We have our hidden fields populated. Everything looks good. So let's go ahead and save this. And exit out of it. You have to exit out or you're gonna get a, a conflict when NopAdmin tries to read it. Okay, let's go ahead and use NopAdmin and see what we got here. So we need to browse to the file first. Okay, this is I always do this. I always preview the first page or the first uh, product page just to make sure the file format looks okay and we get data. So that's good. Now we're dealing with specifications, so we're going to go right here. Load specifications. You have to do these in order, just like we had to build the Excel worksheet it's in order. You have to go step one of three, step two of three, step three of three for the specifications. So just a word of warning. As in everything, we always have a preview worksheet button. Let's click that and just make sure that our uh, process this and name and display order come up right, and they do. So let's go ahead and run a test. Let's leave this checked. Say load worksheet. Excellent. We see finish would have been added, zipper would have been added, and size would have been added. So that's what we want. Let's go ahead and load them, uncheck the run test, and load. Okay, good. This is just what we would expect. We see the finish, zipper, and size were all added. So good. Let's continue on. Let's load the specification details. Again, we preview. We get our data, we get uh, our finish, zipper types, and the two sizes that we entered. Um, and we also have the spec name and spec detail. That's exactly what we would expect. So let's run the test. Okay, good. Specification name would have been added. Um, stainless steel would have been added, you know, all these. So we have four rows and we see would have been added um, in here, so that's what we would expect. 
Let's go ahead and load them. Uncheck Run Test. Load Worksheet. Okay. Now, this is a little bit of debugging, and I didn't plan this, but this is good. Um, we see that we have four. The 18 inch wasn't loaded. Well, why is that? It looks like we were missing a display order in here. So we need to go back and add that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open that back up. Go to our specification detail and it was the 18 inch that didn't process so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it not to process those rows because I don't want duplicates. Okay, I'm flipping those to false and I'm just going to let it process the 18 inch. I'm going to change that to a 1 and that looks good. So we're going to save it, close it, and we're going to flip back to NOP Commerce. I'm sorry, NOP Admin. Just to be sure, I'm going to preview the worksheet again. And this time I only see the one row. I see the display order in there. I'm going to run the test just to be sure. Okay, now I see name would have been added to specification size. That's what I want. Uncheck it load and now I see specification 18 inch was added to size that's perfect okay so here we're gonna go load product specifications continue on and now we have preview worksheet we have our four rows in there including the 18 inch that um, you know we had to go back and load so we have display order one okay that all looks good our hidden SKUs are in there Excellent. Run a test. Load. Okay, we see specification would have been added. Um, you know, four, four, our four rows. That looks good. Let's go ahead and unclick it or uncheck it and load again. Okay, excellent. Specification finish. Antique brass was added. Um, stainless steel was added to the, for the zippers and then the two sizes that we had were also added. So that looks really good. Everything looks like it worked just as expected. Let's go ahead and check it out in Not Commerce. So I'm going to flip over there. And here is our test product. Okay, and here we are. We see our test product that we created in video one. And if we scroll down, we see the attributes that we added in video two, the burlap, cotton, and silk, as well as our small, and then down below we see the product specifications, the four types that we added. So, um, you know, obviously the size is redundant here, and that's fine, you know, this is just for de demo purposes, but uh, basically, um, you know, everything looks the way that we would expect, so um, this is a, a excellent way uh, using NOP Admin and Excel to very quickly load your NOP Commerce store um, using you know the product data that we did in video one, the attributes in video two, and now the specifications. So um, basically you can use NOP Admin to very quickly configure your store, assign categories, upload images, and assign manufacturers. So. Um, this concludes video three of three on Not Bad Men Import. Um, again, my name is Sean. Thank you so much for your time. I know all three videos, you know, took a lot of time to watch, but hopefully they'll save you some some time in the long run and some aggravation. Um, if during an import process you're getting errors and you've watched these videos, feel free to send me your Excel file. I'll be glad to take a look at them for you and see how I can help figure out what's going on. Um, I can run them through a debugger and, and try to find things out for you. So if you have any questions or problems, feel free to contact me at sales at um, nopadmin.com or support at nopadmin.com or you can also Skype me at uh, id nopadmin. Again, thanks so much for your time and uh, we really appreciate it.